A lot of people want to better integrate the values they hold with the way they live. One couple is actively building that connection and sharing what they learn. About three years ago, we moved onto the property and decided to start to try and build a home as sustainably as we possibly could within the building codes. Cob is a mixture. It's not corn cobs. It's actually clay, sand, and straw. The building can last 500 years, and at the end of its useful life, then it just goes back into the earth. So it's a complete life cycle. Other wonderful thing about cob is it has the ability to um, to breathe. It's got a natural ability to absorb and deabsorb moisture, so it makes a healthy living environment inside. Living roofs are really popular right now. Where green roofs have a beneficial impact is with the controlling for what's called the heat island effect. In the city, when you have a bunch of black roofs, they generate a lot of heat. And we just kind of worked with what was there and, you know, basic uh, things of designing a passive soil, solar house is you're pointed at the sun. We also have a Claire Story house with the windows up at the top here on the second story that open. So we can control natural ventilation through the whole house and up which is a, a way of, you know, moving your fresh air around without using a lot of uh, high-tech equipment. If it's not affordable, it's not sustainable because it means that the average person can't do it. We were going to be going off the grid, but the more that we learned about uh, batteries, batteries have a fairly large environmental impact. Uh, so what we decided to do was decided to go with a grid intertie with BC Hydro. And BC Hydro, in essence, acts as our battery bank. We're actually starting to put more power in now than we're using. Using alternative energies is, is wonderful, but to be able to use those alternative energies, the first thing you have to do is you have to look at conservation. And conservation comes two ways. It comes with lifestyle choices, and then it comes with efficiencies within the systems that you have inside the house. We're 67% more efficient than the average house in BC. We have solar hot water that comes out of the tap. And our particular type of solar hot water is the evacuated tubes. They work even in the winter on a cloudy day. We collect the heat. We put it into a hot water tank, we draw the heat out of that hot water tank, and then we run it through tubes in the floor. The power system in the house is one small segment of the house. You've got the water systems, you've got the lifestyle within the house, you've got the gardening that feeds the people in the house. They're all part of a much bigger integrated system. So educating people on each of those integrated systems uh, is, is a big part of what drives us. Centralized systems are brittle. Simple rule. Don't fight nature. Yeah, <laughs> work with it.